Dear friends, in this tutorial, we are going to look into one more data frame reshaping technique called stacking unstacking. Let's say you are analyzing stock market data, which is coming in this format, where you have two level of column headers. The first level is the metric that you are analyzing, such as price and PE. The second level is the name of the company itself. Now, let's say for my data analysis purpose, I want to transform it into this particular format where I have taken one of the column levels, let's say company, and transposed it into a row. You might also want to, let's say, uh, take the metric from your column level and uh, transpose it at, into a row level. All of this can be achieved using stacking. As usual, I have launched a Jupyter Notebook by running Jupyter Notebook command on my command prompt. And here is the notebook that I have. Now I'm going to use pandas read Excel method to read this Excel file. Remember to supply the header argument. So in this file here, I have uh, two headers, all right, two levels of headers. Uh, so zero and one, that's why I'm supplying zero and one as an argument value. And this is the data frame that I got. Now to stack this, to stack the innermost level of column headers, all I need to do is call stack method on my data frame. And when I do that, you can see that it took name of the company from column level and now it transform it into rows. Now, if you want to take, let's say the first level of column headers instead, then all you need to do is supply a level. So you can say level equal to zero. Okay. And then it will take uh, the name of the matrix uh, and transpose it into rows. All right. Now, if you check pandas documentation, Panda stack documentation, right? Uh, so if you check that, then you will see level as one of the arguments. And the second argument is drop NA. So if you have any NA values and let's say drop those rows, you can supply this uh, to be true. You can use unstack to perform a reverse transformation. So let me store this uh, data frame into df stacked okay so let's say my df stacked looks something like this okay and i want to now perform a reverse transformation so you can say df stack dot unstack and you will get your original data frame back as you can see here now you can perform stacking and stacking with n number of column levels. So let's say you have another Excel file uh, like this, where you have three level of column headers. And the first level kind of indicates the category of those metrics. So for example, price and price to earning ratios really fall into price ratios category. And then you have some more metrics such as net sales and not net profit, which falls under income statement category. All right, so I'm going to read this Excel file into my uh, data frame. So I will say df, let's say two is equal to pd dot read Excel. And the name of the Excel file is stocks underscore three levels dot, dot XLSX. And again, you need to supply the header argument. So as you can see, I supplied header as zero and one here i need to supply it zero one and two values because i had three level of column headers and when i execute it i see this nice uh, data frame with three level of column headers now by default when you call stack it's gonna take the innermost level and transpose it so you can see that now i have my company name here at a row level you can always use the level argument and say okay i want to transform let's say transpose my first level which is really the category of the metric so when you do that 
you get values like this you can now you can see that price ratios uh net profit price ratios is nan because it's not really uh applicable net profit is not applicable into price ratios category okay you can also do level one and then level one is this guy right here and it's gonna transpose it at a column level or you can do level two which is same as not supplying that argument all right so that was really it about stacking unstacking i hope you're enjoying this tutorial i have posted a link to the jupyter notebook used in this tutorial in the video description below if you like this tutorial please give it a thumbs up comment or share with your friends uh thank you very much for watching this video and i will see you in next